any protocols and any patients that have, have come down with COVID. I was always the guy who was, you know, there. To Matthew Brent Motzinger's surprise, it wasn't the EMS calls he responded to that caused him to get COVID, but the call to support his family. I only came down with COVID after it was in my home. My wife had it first um, and I, it was it was one of those just kind of typical classic COVID stories. You take less precautions when you're at home. So, but the wearing the mask, the washing your hands that you do on a daily basis out in the community, you know, I mean, that, that's proven to work because I never got it until it came within my household. Matthew checked all the symptom boxes on the CDC checklist. I started having kind of some body aches and then it went to a headache and then I started having some chills and that ended up with a fever and that progressed on into having some cough and respiratory symptoms and then, and then it ended up um, GI symptoms as well. So I, I wasn't able to like drink water, or eat food without getting nauseous or wanted to vomit. Meanwhile, he and his wife had to lean on each other while they both battled COVID-19. After about 10 days of that all together, my wife said, it's time for you to go to the hospital. I can't really help you anymore. So I ended up in the hospital for four days. Months after having COVID, Matthew was one of the first five people in Forsyth County to receive a vaccine. It was a great thing to be able to participate in it and help you know, kind of spread the word that, that this is an important thing and we need to get out there and help this, this community get vaccinated and do all we can to help people from having to go through a lot of the, a lot of the sick and illness that I had to go through and I've seen a lot of people go through. As everything else in life, there is an underlying message all of us should learn from Matthew's story. The precautions do work. It, it really and truly, it solidified to me the, preca the precautions that we take on a daily basis work because I was deeply involved with COVID from the beginning. Forsyth County Department of Public Health will give all COVID-19 vaccination shots here at the Education Building in the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. You can learn more at forsyth.cc forward slash COVID update. For Forsyth County and the City of Winston-Salem, I'm Sarah Glasgow.